850 gold and red chairs live inside the ballroom, and every week an intricate seating plan has to be made. The lucky woman in charge, Debbie Clark, better known as the queen of seating. <laughs> Clark has to gather all the dancers and celebrity guest lists each week and collaborate with the directors to methodically place the guests around the ballroom. We like to have the celebrities um, group sit together. So if, you know, Jill's family's here, Sean's family, they're all set together. So then I can let the director know where they are. So then after they're done dancing or cheering or, you know, whatever, then they can get shots of them. To be a part of the audience, you take your seat roughly two hours before the show. Because you're seated for such a long period of time, it's crucial to have someone like Corey, a warm-up host, in charge of pumping up the crowd. I'm responsible for making sure everybody's screaming, clapping, going nuts, absolutely out of their mind. And while it may seem like an easy job, Corey's in charge of everything from the music to gauging the audience's energy. Somebody make some noise! Hence, the dance party. Everybody that's in this building has a chance to come down and dance on the Dancing with the Stars stage. And I mean, we packed this thing with like 500 people. To the right, right, reverse, reverse. Which I was even forced to join in on. But soon enough, it's time to sit down as familiar faces finally take the stage. All right, that was Larissa Wool reporting. Now, tomorrow on Good Morning Kern County, Larissa takes a look inside one of the dancers' dressing rooms and even gets a surprise visitor. That's tomorrow.